Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're going to show you how to create a custom filter or filter input for your events listing page using a bit of code. Okay, so previously in this channel, we showed you how to create a custom input named country using just codes, not the uh, default field editor in the WP Event Manager. So feel free to check that out. And this video is not for beginners. Please. Uh, proceed with caution over here and if you follow this guide correctly you should be good but i really hope you have a bit of idea what we are talking about over here and bit of knowledge of handling codes okay keeping all the disclaimers aside let's open up our knowledge base because we will require a bit of code from there okay and over here we're gonna go to our help center and then we're gonna go to knowledge base and over here we're gonna search for add custom field in search filter okay there is the article and if i go inside we will have a written documentation you can follow to achieve the same level of uh, outcome okay so what we can do we can copy this entire code block okay leave the ending and starting php tag all right because we do not need that since our themes function.php already handles that okay and we need to paste that inside our active theme okay we can do that via our theme editor but i really suggest you do not do that you use an ftp or your web host default code editor okay so let me load up our functions.php and i'm going to scroll down so this is the code we added in our previous video to add a country field to our event submission form okay so i had gone ahead and added one country like assigned one country to one of the event okay and I'll, I'll add another country to another event for the demonstration as well but that's coming later on but now let's paste the code over here and what we're doing over here is basically putting a new input field inside our event listing page filter section okay so if i load up our front end side here and to events you will find the this filter section over here we are putting a custom input over there like over here okay so you have the ability to customize this input field as well okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like keep this as it is but later on we will assign two countries to two events for the demonstration all right and then we have like another function over here uh, uh, what it does it's actually like takes the input value from here and injects it into the query we are doing when we are filtering the event against the meta key okay so this meta key we added before in our previous video okay so make sure whenever you are using the custom filter section you will have better idea actually when you are doing it so make sure the meta key and the fill name or the meta key you added previously is same okay so actually you do not have to add like this input fields by uh, code you still can use this custom function to include a new filter into your event listing page you will be able to find your meta key in the field editor section okay so all the default uh, meta keys will uh, be found over here as you can see we have event country event title event type event category event online all of them so this uh, like meta key we added uh, like the meta box or the input field we added via code so that being listed over here as well right so you can find all the meta keys over here if you are not sure what meta key you are looking for so you can just copy it and then use it over here right here okay the key value so let's talk about what's going on over here we are creating a select field named our uh, filter by country we are using uh, the filter by country to check here either the filter by country is blank or not then we are sanitizing the text and querying against the meta key using that value simple enough let's update and now we're gonna do one thing we're gonna go to our front end side and to our event dashboard we're gonna modify two events over here to two different country okay so let's see what are the possible values over here so d e i n e s okay so what i'm gonna do let's say set it to d e this one I'm gonna save changes and then we're gonna come back to our events dashboard and then we're gonna uh, modify another event let's say this one and then I'm gonna change it to IN and then save our changes so this should theoretically give a better demonstration for us all right so let's go to events and we find the country section over here so this filter we added using this function so over here okay so now we can actually short this events over here using this filter okay so 
we uh, selected DE for Germany and IN for India. We didn't choose anything for USA. So those filter will give us a better demonstration anyway. So let's select one uh, filter over here or like select input and it should theoretically, okay, there list out the event that has DE and it has country right so you can modify the values over here as well right and you can like even completely replace this uh, select input into a uh, text input let's say let's say how we can do that so let's copy the name we will need that okay so i'm gonna write in an uh, input element from html okay and i'm gonna write it to name this and we're gonna actually comment out this uh, select input since we do not need it and what i'm gonna do I'm gonna like set the class as well okay so it inherits this styling and I'm gonna update right so that sounds good and let's reload and over here I know it doesn't look really good as of now so what we can do and let's so now over here we can type whatever we want to filter from the country okay so let's type in like a placeholder and everything okay placeholder search by country so let's improve the styling for this input a little bit so that looks like good to our eyes okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set the type to text that should theoretically bring back the styling for us and if we reload yes right so now it looks good actually so now we can type in whatever we want over here okay and expect it to work flawlessly so no select input over here that we were able to use okay instead now we can type in de and it should bring out the event with the de tag in it as a country okay so if i type in in and let go it will load the event that has in as in india as the country for that event okay so you get the idea you can like play with the select input or the like text input whatever shows you and let your user filter your events using that input over here okay so it doesn't have to be country it doesn't have to be added via custom code the filter section you need to do custom coding for that so you can use every meta key from here okay so all the meta keys over here is uh, filterable you can use them over here to make a custom filter for your event listing page so i hope this video gave you a in-depth details about creating a custom filter for the event listing page come join me in our next video where we will talk about something else so if you found this video helpful leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel all that good stuff until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one